Now the first step is to restart your computer. Do not ignore this step. Just restart your computer once and after the system restart, try launching the game. Still facing the problem, the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus, just make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now if you are using Windows security, in that case open Windows settings and then go to privacy and security if you have Windows 11 and then click on Windows security. If you have Windows 10, you will have an option update in security, then click on Windows security. Now click on virus and threat protection. Now scroll down at the end you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through controlled folder access click on yes to allow now click on add an allowed app browse all apps now go to the game installation folder if the game installed in c drive open c drive program files x86 now open the steam folder and then open the steam apps folder now open the common folder now open battle folder over here you will find the game exe file and then click on open now type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel click on system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change set change settings on the top click on allow another app browse and then go to the game installation folder once again open the game folder select the game exe file now click on open and then click on add in my case the game is already added so once the game is added now you can launch the game now the next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder so make a right click on the game over here select manage then click on browse local files it will straight away take you to the game installation folder now make a right click on the game exe file select properties go to the second tab and then Put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, apply, OK, and then make a double click launch the game from here. If that does not work, again make a right click, select properties, and this time put a check on run this program over here and then select Windows 8, apply, OK, make a double click launch the game. Still not working, make a right click once again, properties, and then this time select Windows 7 over here. Apply, OK make a double click launch the game still not working this time put a check on disable full screen optimizations and then apply ok and then launch the game now still it's not working in that case go to properties once again and when you put check on all these boxes still not working then you can uncheck all these boxes and then follow the next step now the next step is to verify the game files now this is important make a right click on the game select properties go to the installed files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files now once the verification is complete once the verification is 100 percent complete now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in launch option so you can make a right click on the game select properties now go to the general tab and in general tab in launch option you can type in dash dx11 and then you can close this and then launch the game and then check still not working this time try dash dx12 and then launch the game and then check still not working then remove you can clear this still not working you can remove this and then follow the next step now the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so go to nvidia website now select your product type make sure that you select the right product type for me it's g4 select the right series for me it's 30 series so make sure that you select your series over here and then select your graphic card so make sure that you select your graphic card over here and then if you have windows 10 select windows 10 if you have windows 11 select windows 11 now click on start search and then scroll down the latest geforce game ready driver right now is driver version 551.76 so whichever is the latest graphic driver over here whichever, whichever is the latest one you can click on get download and then click on download now now once the download is complete uh, run this exe file and then click on ok and then click on yes to allow and then click on agree and continue and then 
select custom option make sure that you select custom over here and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure that you put a check over here and then click on next and let first of all it will uninstall the previous driver and then it will do a clean installation of the latest graphic card driver and once that is done once this process is complete then restart your computer make sure that you restart your computer after this and after the system restart you can launch the game now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings and then click on browse and then go to the game installation folder once again and then open the game folder select the game exe file now click on add once the game is added in my case the game is already added so let's check where is the game so once the game is added click on the game and then click on options and then select high performance over here and then click on save and then launch the game next step is to create a backup of the save folder and delete the save game files now before you delete the save game file let me inform you that this will result in loss of game progress so you have to start everything everything from scratch so you will lose all the game progress so if you agree uh, you can delete the save game file now for this make a right click on the game select manage then click on browse local files and over here you can see save data and here you can, here you can see save game save game files so you can just make a right click on save data or you can open save data and then copy everything you can just first of all create a backup you can copy this file and you can create a backup first so i have created a backup over here now you can make a right click and then you can delete and then launch the game and then check but it will start everything from scratch now the next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte i have 16 gigabyte of ram so 16 into 1024 i have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 491152 now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer Make sure that you restart your computer after this.
Now the next step is to install Visual C++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to Microsoft website here you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19 and 22 download x86 and x64 so click on x86 file and then run this exe file now if you see the install option click on install if you see the repair option click on repair click on yes to allow now download this x64 file as well again if you you have to run this exe file now if you see so run this x64 again if you see the repair option you have to click on repair if you see the install option click on install click on yes to allow and once both the installation are complete that is x64 and x86 once both are installed restart the computer you will see a restart option once this is done make sure that you restart the computer after this and after the system restart launch the game next step is to unplug all the external devices from your computer so if you have any external devices which you are not using you, you can disconnect all the devices disconnect additional controller connected to the computer disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor if you have any third party application or services running you can close it from task manager also close close all the browser any third party application close it if you have undervolted the computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game also disable steam overlay now for this go to steam make a right click on the game select properties and turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game turn, turn it off also close other overlay application so if you have discord running you can close discord if you have geforce experience running close geforce experience so close all the overlay application also close all the overclocking application so if you have msi afterburner revert tuner or any other overclocking application close close it and then launch the game to perform clean boot type in system configuration in windows search box and then click on system configuration now go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all microsoft services put a check over here and then click on disable all in my case this option is grayed out i already did it in your case this would be highlighted so make sure you put a check on hide all microsoft services first and then click on disable all click on apply click on ok you will see a restart option restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to update your windows to the latest version so open windows settings go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game next step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives so if nothing is working you can go to steam and then make a right click on the game select manage then click on uninstall now after the uninstall go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder and once you delete it now restart your computer and after the system restart try installing the reinstalling the game to different drive so if the game is installed to another drive like sometimes we install the game to external drive so if the game is installed to another drive in that case you can try to install the game to c drive and then you can check if the game is already installed in c drive then you can try installing the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the game running on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel